Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let us understand how to calculate harmonic distortion and validate the same using ETA. I hope you remember this uh, SLD as well as the values which was used in the last video. Bus number 7 has a voltage T history of 7.86 both bus number 9 and 8 with a voltage TKST of 0.644 and uh, current from bus number 9 43.43 TKST value in fact uh, current harmonics percentage now go to edit study case model tab harmonic source model can be done in three different way one is Thevenin's Northern's equivalent for all sources this is actually a recommended method you can use uh, Thevenin's Northern's equivalent for non-electronic sources or ideal current source ideal current source means there is no impedance involvement but rest of the two cases uh, uh, current source always in parallel with impedance so for the calculation purpose in order to match the value as close as possible i am taking this ideal current source model now rerun this you could see a slight change in uh, values of tht uh, i got 8.6 TST at bus number 7 whereas in the previous case we got this number slightly lesser than this now bus number 9 and 8 with the value of 0.7 TST whereas in previous case we got slightly less than this value I guess 0.644 this number okay. then we have to calculate this value and uh, check the calculation matches this ETAP software or not exactly. In order to cross check this value, I am taking one Excel sheet. I want to calculate TGST at bus number 9. Let me take a bus 9 here. What is the voltage level V at bus number 9? 11 kV. what is MVAAC value uh, we got 762.102 see in fact MVA value so in order to calculate impedance uh, we can calculate it in this fashion KV square divided by MVAC value here so I got this number then what is the current flow through this line okay current is actually we have to calculate it from this uh, I have chosen uh, 277.6 amps uh, load current so I'm taking the same thing here but we have to convert it to 11 kV side the load is on 4.16 kV side let me put it in this way multiplied by 4.16 divided by 11 approximately we can get 104.9 which is on 11 kb side in addition to this value we want to know what are the harmonics injected towards the system harmonic order i'll take uh, then personal job harmonics percentage of current harmonics that is injected towards the system for the purpose of understanding this too let me go to this load go to harmonic page uh, this is what the model I used in the previous video and even uh, the same circuit I have used here ACS 606p we want to understand what is the corresponding harmonic order and uh, percentage of magnitude current to find out that you go to library harmonic library 
we have chosen uh, the same ACS 606p go to edit now you could see what is harmonic order we have injected and the corresponding magnitude quickly copy this 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and 25 these are the harmonic orders and the corresponding magnitude of current is 42 14.3 7.9 and finally 1.4 so I have copied this harmonic order the corresponding magnitude of percentage harmonic current now I can close this I want to find out what is exactly the magnitude of current IH so how to do that so this is 42 percentage of this current so 42 uh, in fact 42 means this value multiplied by this current and divided by 100 okay we just take a bracket if required okay and moreover i want to freeze this uh, current this is common for all harmonic order so this is in e5 let's freeze this value so that uh, that's e5 remains same for the entire uh, orders now you could see different numbers then i want to find out impedance value for different uh, orders it is quite simple multiply the impedance value with the corresponding order so this is for fifth similarly you can calculate uh, up to 25th so i want to freeze this number also z that is e4 e4 so that that remains same for the rest of orders I extend this get different numbers then I want to find out VH that is voltage which is uh, multiplication of I and DZ project this up to 25th order then in order to calculate voltage DHT VH square I want to calculate uh, VH square so this is VH multiplied by VH so go for it um, this is VH square then I want to verify uh, bus number 9 VTHT bus number 9 VTHT is this number 0.7 uh, I want to verify this value 0.7 percentage for that purpose uh, I want to calculate uh, square root of sum of this v h square that is each individual orders okay we just apply the formula here uh, s q r t of s u m of these values so i'm getting some number which is uh, sum of in fact square root of sum of vh square then i want to find out phase voltage v phase and it is uh, this 11 multiplied by 1000 divided by 1.732 for the conversion of phase voltage and finally i'm concluding v dht this dht is this number divided by this number whole multiplied by 100 okay now you could see how uh, my voltage THT is uh, approximately close to this value here it is 0.7 percentage my calculation is 0 0.7105 percentage okay so this is what uh, you need to verify here approximately these numbers are matching 
then I want to find out current THT I just do it here I uh, H square that you can do it I H is here okay just go ahead so similar formula we have to apply okay just copy these things on this side this is actually not voltage current uh, here you have to take uh, current what actually you have considered for uh, this line this one this current uh, this is simply drag this formula here and we get it and finally this is this is i t h t i t h t this is not required then you can check this answer too so 45.46 so here 45.47 so on a bus number 9 my voltage THT and current THT is matching similarly you can cross check your answer uh, for bus number 7 also I'll just copy this uh, and paste it here for verification of second case bus number 7 so for sake of clarity i'm going to verify only voltage uh, thd here because i haven't used any cable so current thd is uh, you are unable to identify on this particular case as far as my circuit is concerned i just eliminate this let me cross check this alone so this is 4.16 4.16 kv mvac uh, actually i want to check mvac here uh, for that purpose uh, i have to use uh, the calculation so for sake of clarity i'm running on um, what is called uh, impedance scan so it is very easy to find out uh, what is impedance on this the purpose of finding this mvs is to identify the impedance value so this 0.27 is impedance value uh, 0.27 so here i'm uh, not including this particular value you can also calculate it through mvsc uh, but as of now i'm calculating impedance through this frequency scan okay so as of now this is not required for me and what is the current current actually here for lv side in fact not lv side 4.16 kv side uh, it is going to be uh, 277.6 okay now we have these two are fixed no change on this two value because the same injection of current and current harmonics here probably we have to change the current 277.6 must be included so this is on uh, e31 e31 must be freezed so this is e31 okay the same thing to be adopted for entire case and z z also we have to change z is 0.27 so 0.27 on e30 so this is e30 I extend the same for rest of the cases then you could uh, see the value 8.44 i guess uh, you may get approximately close to this value yeah i'm getting 8.6 percentage here but my calculation shows 8.44 uh, this may be a slight variation in uh, impedance and mbsc value so however i'm getting approximately close value here 8.44 and 8.6 if required you can also connect one cable and uh, cross check current harmonics as i did above here you can get a value something close to the one what you're going to calculate if you use the same procedure that's it on this video while uh, coming for uh, next video i just tell you uh, how to design a filter in fact a passive filter to observe the harmonics 
till then bye bye